Praxis and I'm still working on the greenhouses. Not surprisingly, this will have to do and it's going really well, uh, actually. On the other side, I've got uh, the whole uh, south wall done and the header board that goes across the top. And uh, I'm just about to start putting the posts on the south wall here. I'm still doing them in tandem, so I cut all the posts for both sides, uh, got all the headers all set for both sides. I really feel like this approach is working really well because uh, I'm able to just kind of jump back and forth and just do an entire task for both sides and then be done with it. What I want to talk about today is uh, one technique that I've been using a lot for uh, toenailing things in. Uh, toenailing is uh, taking nails at an angle and kind of dropping them in. Uh, the alternative would be that I would have uh, taken these posts and nailed them from below. Uh, so like this board here, I would have nailed nails straight up through it, built the whole thing as one assembly and put it up. But instead, I'm uh, putting the posts in on top of it. So I'm toenailing them in at an angle. As you're toenailing things, uh, they, the post or whatever you're, you're toenailing in kind of has a tendency to kind of kick off to the side a little bit. Like if you're, you're hammering from this side, it'll you know you'll be kind of pushing it off to your left and vice versa. Uh, there's different ways of kind of compensating for that. You can nail down a little block uh, and slide the thing up to it, and then toenail it in. The block will kind of keep it in place. Oftentimes, you can just kind of use your foot or your shoe, or you can kind of just kind of hold it there and you know do the best you can that way. One way that you can uh, kind of keep them in place without having to you know use a, you know block or you know do any of that kind of stuff is kind of going back and forth on both sides I'm going to demonstrate that right here uh, I've got the toenails all set uh, I pre-drilled holes for them that uh, reduces the chance of cracking as they're going in so the four toenails are all in here these are 16 D nails that I'm uh, dropping in and I've got lines drawn here and I'm working on these two and the way that I'm, I'm doing it is uh, I'm starting on one side and as that pushes the post in this direction, uh, I pop over to the other side. And now I'm starting to see my line again on this side, so I'm going to pop back to this side. And what I'm doing is I'm just waiting, and there we go, for one of them to bite. So because once one of the nails bites in, it stops sliding the board around. So now that this one's a bit in, I'll get that into position, and now I'm going to kind of pull the post this way to make sure it fully seats on this side, get this one in. And next step, I'm going to use the, uh, whatever the hell this thing's called, for setting nails. Lining it up there. That does a much better job. Really sinks it in, and I don't bang up the board from missing the nail a bunch of times. Okay, all set. And I'm going to use kind of the same technique as I do these, because the post will have a tendency to twist. If I keep hitting on this side, going to want to twist that side. So as I go in, it looks like this side's already twisted a little that way. So I'm going to nail from this side first until I see it twist. And then I would jump over there. But so far, it looks like it's just going in nice and straight. Okay. And as I set that in, it did twist the post a little bit and made it nice and straight. And now I just set this one. All right, there we go. So I've got one more post to do here. The header is sitting on the ground behind you. That flips up on top. I don't, you know, I, I don't know that it's definitely called a header. I know if they're uh, vertical boards on edge, it's called a header. Maybe it's just called a cap. I don't, I don't really know. Just like with plant identification, it's not always that important if you know what the name of something is as long as you know what it's used for and know how to use it properly. Unless you're trying to communicate to someone. Like if you had a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.